Hello, and welcome once again to Professor Black's History. Of course, coming to you from the shadows until African American and Black history is taken out of the shadows and put more prominently in the history textbook. Well, it is baseball season, and every time baseball season rolls around, it makes me think of some of the great baseball players from the old Negro baseball leagues. Now, many people have heard of some of these guys, and then some people haven't heard of any of these guys. One of the people you may have heard of, but not sure about him, and you know you need to read about it, is a guy named James Cool Papa Bell, probably my favorite of the old Negro Baseball League players. James Cool Papa Bell was considered the fastest man ever to put on a pair of baseball spikes. He was born in Starkville, Mississippi in 1903, and he was a great Negro League baseball player. Um, and this guy was so fast that many, many people were afraid uh, to play him. They didn't want, they always played him like he was going to bunt because he was so fast they had to get that ball and get it over to first base. Uh, he started off his career uh, as a pitcher and he actually moved from Starkville, Mississippi to St. Louis to live with his brothers and he was supposed to be going to high school but he spent all of his time playing baseball and ended up playing uh, baseball for uh, a semi-pro team in the, um, in the area and eventually, he started playing for one of the Negro League teams. Uh, Bell is a guy who was a great, great baseball player. Uh, he was so fast that when people would see him on the base pass, they couldn't believe it. As a matter of fact, he ran the bases in about, I mean, he was clocked actually at the bases at about 13.1 seconds. And that was on a muddy field. He always contended that he ran it in 12.0 seconds on a dry field. That's very, very fast. And there's so many legends that go along with James Cool Papa Bell. He played for a number of Negro League baseball teams, including the great Kansas City Monarchs, the Pittsburgh Crawfords, and the Washington, D.C. Homestead Grays. Some of his teammates were Satchel Paige and Josh Gibson. So these guys were all chummy and they were great ball players all together. Now Satchel Paige and Cool Papa Bell once were roommates on the road. And one of the legends about uh, Cool Papa Bell was that when they went to a hotel, Cool Papa checked in first. And he went to the room, and he got to the room, and he noticed that the room uh, was, uh, there was a short in the light switch. So when he turned the lights off, it took a little delay to, for the light to actually go off. So when Satchel came to the room, Cool Papa Bell made him a bet that he could turn off the light and get in bed before it was dark. And he flipped off the light. Of course, the delay was there. He did jump in the bed before it was dark. And Satchel Paige loved to tell that story. Satchel Paige also told the story, or he used to say it rather, about Cool Papa Bell, that if uh, college had known about Cool Papa Bell, or Cool Papa Bell had known reading and writing a little better and known about college, then he would have been the track star uh, instead of Jesse Owens. As a matter of fact, they, uh, he challenged Jesse Owens to a couple of races and for whatever reason, Jesse was never able to uh, compete against Cool Papa Bell. And it was Jesse's uh, choice. Now, he got the name Cool Papa Bell uh, by uh, striking out the great Oscar Charlton. He was just a 19-year-old pitcher. And actually, they called him Cool because he was so cool, calm, and collected during that important time in that baseball game. But it sounded kind of uh, not complete, so his manager, Bill Gatewood, added the papa to it, and they called him Cool Papa Bill. Of course, he played baseball uh, in, of course, the Negro Baseball Leagues, but he also played in South America, he played um, in Cuba, and he played uh, in the California Leagues. This guy played baseball for almost 34 years continuously, and he was, like I said, the greatest baseball player, one of the greatest baseball players of all time. Uh, the Sporting News conducted a survey and they had the top 100 baseball players of all time. Not just Negro League players, but baseball players of all time. And Cool Papa Bell was number 66. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in baseball in 1974. And this guy was, the, of course, anytime they deal with these old legends from the Negro Baseball League, you're going to hear some stories. One of the legends is that Cool Papa Bell was so fast that one time he hit the ball and as he was, he ran the bases and as he was sliding into second base, the ball that he hit hit him in the behind. That's how fast he was. 
Then there was a story about how fast Cool Papa Bell was um, when he was running the bases, that if he was getting ready to bat, all the players moved up because if they gave him any shot at getting to first base, all he needed was a tiny, tiny bunt. And he was also called the king of the inside the park home run. He hit many, many inside the park home runs. He was known to go from first to home plate, even sometimes on a bunt. That's how fast this guy was. James Cool Papa Bell, the fastest man ever to put on a pair of baseball shoes. Join us next time. We'll have more interesting people for you to talk about, or for you to learn about, rather, right here on Professor Black's History.